right, now let's talk beards. You guys want to talk beards? I would love to talk beards. Good, because it's a large portion of our show today. <laughs> Some people have beards for work, like old timey gold miners or hobos or terrorists. <laughs> But some people rock ginormous beards just for the hell of it, like Rick Rubin, Harry from Harry and the Hendersons, and Attack of the Show's line producer. Ah, uh, that's the best one. It's been almost a year since Bernardo shaved his beard, and this is his story. At the Attack of the Show office, there's a man who loves bad jokes and has a caveman beard. His name is Bernardo. You may recognize him as the Punisher. That's good pun-ishment. But beyond the beard is a man held prisoner by his scraggly facial hair. Italy, July 2010. Bernardo traveled abroad with his family where he neglected shaving for two weeks because he had, quote, better things to do. After returning stateside, he didn't shave for another two weeks simply due to laziness. The following was recorded in October of 2010. What the hell? I've never grown a beard before. Let's see how long this thing can get. Nine months and 200 episodes of Attack of the Show later, the once delightful experiment has become a menace. Food constantly gets stuck in it. Women are dissatisfied by it, and his entire family hates it. Bernardo's life is now in shambles. Thankfully, Attack of the Show has agreed to end his torment live on television by shaving the evil thing off. Hopefully for Bernardo, it's not too late. Are you sure you want to get rid of that monstrosity? <laughs> it's starting to grow on me, but I think it's time to get rid of it. No! <laughs> so good. It's so good. The Punisher strikes again. Will, will, will the beard lose its Twitter account? I hope not. I hope, I hope not as well. <laughs> I hope so. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Joining us to shave Bernardo's beard is professional barber Jason Simeo. Hey! Master Finley Barber and Chuck. Have you ever shaved someone as bearded as Bernardo? Yes, I have. You have? Yes, really? definitely. Uh, well, and you live to tell the tale. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah. um, is, there, is there a strategy? Do you start with a, a flamethrower, some sort of torch, <laughs> incendiary device? No, actually, I start with clippers, and then from that, I lather them up and straight razor shave them. Oh, all right. OK, let's do this. Right. Do let's go. Yeah! Wave goodbye to the beard, everybody. Bye, Bye Bernardo. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's, get in there. Get in there. Ah. Years of work undone. You can't, you want to stop now, Bernardo? We no, can do it. We can totally fix that. No, Little don't, spirit don't gum. Give him the option. It'd be totally don't fine. Give him the option. All right, fair enough. Uh, you're going to keep on cutting, Jason. We'll actually check back in a little later on in the show. We have some lofty play. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 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 That is. You're this? like a totally different person. This is like a stunt piece from Spartacus, if you've ever seen the series. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All right, a little. Ew, stop it. Let's check in with Kevin at the AOTS Barbershop. <laughs> We're actually about to use a straight razor on Bernardo's neck. <laughs> are you really going to use a straight? Are you really yes, going to? Yeah, OK, yeah, do you need a license yeah, no. to use that? Lather up that face. That up, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Lather that Chris, face up. Chris, do you, do you like the way I'm lathering it up? Am I, I doing a good job for you, Chris? I have to go to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> We've all done it! <laughs> Bernardo had a, a very low-tech but amazing shave just now with a straight razor, which is how some of your ancestors were off, if we believe cinema, correct? <laughs> um, Jason, what's the, what's the strategy here? What do you, is there, what's the tip or trick with a straight razor? Well, pretty much I'm going with the green as opposed to against the green on mm -hmm. the first pass. I mean, people, Bernardo hasn't shaved in a while, so his skin's a bit sensitive. Yeah. So pretty much that's what I did, yeah. Just kept it with the grain. So do you read it poetry and like candles, or how do you tend to the sensitivity? <laughs> uh, I usually feel it out. I could usually see sensitive spots, usually around your neck or your lower lip area. All right. And he's, he seemed to be okay. He's looking sharp now. I want you to pop out of like a, from behind a model train set or something like that. Like that, <laughs> that would just look adorable to me right now. Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, now, uh, Bernardo's face has sort of traveled forward in time. He began the show sometime, I think, in the Neolithic period, but now he's all the way to the American Civil War, which is pretty nice. Yay! It's looking good. Bernardo, do you like your new look? I think we need to shave a little bit more off. <laughs> all right. 
that, 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 that saddens me greatly. Oh, I, think. <laughs> I would love to see this it's, be the new look for a while. It's nice for right now, right. but not for every day. All right, we'll get rid of the whole thing. All right, get back awesome. to it. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. The only thing I've seen repel women just as hard was Bernardo's beard. Yeah! But that is gone now. He looks like a gravy robber with this. I like that. Um, this is the moment you've all been waiting for, uh, especially Bernardo's mom, who I think is watching right now. Yay! Uh, let's see that baby face. What does he got under there? What do you think? It feels, it feels different. Yeah, well, to say the least, let's see the side-by-side -side comparison to see if we can spot the difference. I believe that was before. Okay, so this is the after here. That is sharp. Jason, you are an artisan, sir. Thank you so Thank much you, for being man. here. Round of applause for Jason, everybody. Kevin, From Kevin. Baxter, Finley, Barber, and Shaw. Kevin, I'm a vintage Bernard.